These are the Carolina Reapers that I started just about a week ago. So you notice they're starting to dry out a little bit. And there are also a few little seedlings starting to pop up that are not Carolina Reapers. You notice these will pop up. You'll see some little pieces like this. Seedlings like this. Really fine pieces of fodder. They will come up. You know, this has a fuzzy one leaf. Let's see something else. Uh, this one has more rounded, really fine stem. Things like this will come up right before the peppers do. The peppers are slow starters. But when you see these things come up, then you know your soil is healthy enough to support the Carolina Reapers when they do sprout. Well, as I do this, I just go through and get some of the litter out. As I inspect them, this is probably the second time I've done a little inspection and gotten some of the litter out. There's a little rock. And I want to give them some water today. I've watered them a few times. I use about, this is a half a water bottle. This is probably how much I've given them so far. Now, I would like to give them a spray bottle. That's the best way to do this. I have about three spray bottles that I've gotten for these. And I went to grab one. And there's a total of about six down there. But each one has a different concoction in it. One has water slash bleach. One has bleach. One has water slash vinegar. One has alcohol. One has water slash alcohol. So each one of my water bottles that I get from my plants, um, if I leave it unchecked, it becomes a, a concoction bottle for kitchen cleaner or bathroom cleaner or whatever. <laughs> so I'm just going to get out all the things that are not Carolina Reapers and give each one of the containers a little moisture. This one feels nice and that feels pretty much wet. And then here we have one, two, I see two seedlings. And this one still has a seed attached. There's three. I could close this for a little bit to see if uh, we can get some moisture built up in there to help loosen up the rest of those. So these blue ones, these are leftover egg and tart containers from Easter. And this one is from last year when I planted the other Carolina Reapers. I started off the same way last year, except I only got four. And out of those four, I think one of those survived because of neglect in the window. They, I was busy working and I'd come back and they'd be all dried out. And I'd usually be able to save them but it got to the point where I was only saved one of them. And that one I had uh, put back out as a new plant, along with three smaller overwintered ones I had from the year previously. I think that's how it worked out. I mean, if you guys watched the video, you remember better than me. <laughs> so this one doesn't feel like it has as much moisture as the other. I overwatered that one, but that's okay. It was really dry. It's gonna soak that water right up. So generally that's what I'll do. I'll just try to pour it quickly and evenly as I go over it. One more. Let's see how this one feels. Yeah, this one's a little light. I gave it some last night because I noticed that soil was starting to... You notice when they're ready to water, the soil will turn like a lighter color brown rather than the darker. Wet looking color. See, yeah, this is falling over, but that's not a Carolina Reaper. That's just uh, some type of weed seedling. Um, so is this. It doesn't look like a Carolina Reaper. It's a more mature version of that thing I just pulled out. So you don't need to grow anything like this and then later on say, Hey, is this a Carolina Reaper? You probably can't see that. <laughs> There's another. Oh, 
that's actually a Carolina Reaper. Didn't look very closely. But this I'm going to replant. There could be another seed in there. So let's pick a spot where it doesn't look so good. I'll just leave this here briefly. And then I'll make this the first one. Yeah, I'll just sit it there to hold it steady. And I'll replant this one in soil. See what see what happens in a little cup.